Can you buy out a lottery jackpot? That is the question addressed in this video because something very interesting recently happened in the state of Texas. In April of 2023, there was a $95 million lottery jackpot won in Colleyville, Texas. There was a lot of buzz about it. In fact, it was the largest lottery jackpot in North America at the time and the third largest in Lotto, Texas, history. But some people are saying that this lottery jackpot was bought out. I recently sat down with someone known as the watchdog of the Texas lottery. She has been writing about and critiquing the Texas lottery for over 30 years, Don Nettles. And here is what she had to say about it. I believe based on the, the sales and how it transpired, I believe that the jackpot was literally bought uh, by somebody who just simply stepped in and bought all the combinations. You just don't suddenly in three days have sales of, of $28.1 million on our Lotto Texas game when sales are generally a million, a million and a half, or two million, okay? Mm -hmm. You just don't suddenly have that kind of sales. So that immediately tells you that, gee, something's going on. Somebody's out there buying up all the tickets. And then come to find out, the four locations that, that had the greatest sales, the, the, top, the Texas Lottery lists them as the top 10 or 20 retailers, and they're all apps. Okay? That tells you something. Shortly after the news broke of this lottery win, the Texas Lottery Commission put out a statement which said, in part, sales were through the roof, with a vast majority of the buying activity focused at those retailers who appeared to be selling to various purchasing groups. In fact, it appears that the winning ticket was likely bought by one of the purchasing groups. So one thing that has been reported in media that is very interesting about this story is that the store that sold the winning ticket called Hooked on MT is actually a Montana-related fishing company that recently became a licensed retailer for lottery tickets. They also own the lottery courier app known as Mido Lotto which allows people to buy tickets online via a third-party courier. It's from this location that there were nearly $11 million worth of lottery sales right before this drawing. It by far led the state as the number one sales outlet. So was this sold through their app? I reached out to the president and co-founder of Lottery Now, Richard Wheeler, and he said, and I quote, it has been misreported in a few outlets that the ticket was ordered via our app Mido Lotto. This is not the case. The ticket was purchased via a customer who was physically present in our store. So then I asked him, when purchasing tickets in bulk at the store, are these printed tickets or are they generated via the internet? If they are printed, how does this technically happen to print so many in a short period of time? How exactly is this even possible? And he said, they were all printed tickets and were not generated via the internet. Bulk purchasing of tickets has been conducted across lotteries globally for decades, and the process uses technology and terminals available to any retail player in Texas. In this case, it was just done at a larger scale across multiple terminals. To reiterate, the Courier app was not involved in the process for purchasing these tickets. So who exactly won this lottery? In the state of Texas, any prizes over $1 million can be claimed anonymously. On July 1st, however, a single ticket holder claimed the prize on behalf of a partnership entity known as Rook Tex LP, an entity based in New Jersey. The winner chose to receive the cash value of the prize, which comes to $57.8 million before taxes. So was this lottery bought out? Here's an interesting fact. It would cost approximately $25.8 million to buy all combinations for the Texas Lotto. The top four retailers who did the majority of sales for this particular drawing accounted for right around $25.8 million. Now, it wasn't necessarily the same purchaser at these outlets, but theoretically, if you purchased every combination for this drawing, you could earn tens of millions, assuming that you're the only winner. 
We don't know exactly who won this jackpot. We don't know how many people were involved, but we do know that the top 10 retailers were purchasing groups. We also know that most combinations for this drawing Almost all of them were purchased, and nearly $11 million of those were from the location that sold the winning ticket. And let's not forget, there was also 311 five of six winning tickets. So those are real interesting, okay, to see where those are, who holds those tickets, because those cannot be claimed anonymously. What, what, the, what kind of tickets are those? The five of six, if you match five of six winning numbers instead of, you know, all six, if you match five of six, okay, they don't get to claim none anonymously. Uh. Okay, only, only claims for one million plus can be claimed anonymously in Texas. Each of those tickets is worth $2,015. So if you come in with millions of dollars and buy up mass amounts of combinations, theoretically speaking... Is this fair? I asked Rich Wheeler about this very topic. Here is his response. The purchases all happened in the store that has the ability to fulfill at scale given the location and other courier-affiliated retailers being set up to process tickets at scale for the Mito Lotto Courier app. Although this happens infrequently, lottery purchasing groups and syndicates buying large volumes of tickets when jackpots reach certain levels is nothing new. Despite folks claiming to have various systems to win, the only way to legitimately increase your chances of winning the jackpot is to buy more tickets for a particular draw. We don't think this is unfair as every ticket purchased has the same odds of winning. There could have been two or three winners in that drawing, and if so, the purchasing groups that were active would have had to split the winnings. In that case, they could potentially have lost money while the average player, who also had a winning ticket, would have had a share of a much larger jackpot thanks to the increased sales driven by the purchasing groups. So if you purchase the majority of the combinations, but not all of them, you are still sort of taking a gamble because if someone else wins as well, you'll have to split with that person or perhaps multiple people if multiple other people win. So you could theoretically lose money as well, but you are statistically, of course, substantially increasing your odds if you have millions of dollars to put towards a lottery jackpot. But let me know in the comments, what do you think about this story? What do you think about the premise of buying mass amounts of combinations to win a lottery jackpot? I love checking out your comments. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more lottery news stories like this one, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when they come out. I will also put a playlist to some of the most compelling new lottery news stories from all around the world below. There are new interviews and videos coming soon on this channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support.